The principal director gives him hush money and Mac Dong leaves, but the latter is spotted by Mr. Ju. A chase ensues between them, but Mac Dong hides himself, but he is struck dead by one of principal director's hired assassins. The principal director hands the letter over and instructs that a month later, an envoy will arrive from Qing with a document approving of the crown prince's appointment. The assassin has to hand over the letter to that envoy. The following morning, Li In is angered by the news of Mac Dong's death. He summons the principal director to give him a final warning. Li In angrily tells the principal director to confess to his crimes. The principal director says him doing so would only show Li In in a bad light and be the cause for his dethronement. Li In is not afraid of that as he just wants to make things right. He gives 24 hours to his uncle to come back and confess his crimes. Later that night, Hyung Bo meets with the director and asks him to meet Myung Ha. Hyung Bo flatters him and boasts his ego and the principal director readily agrees to meet with Myung Ha. Hyung Bo tries to convince Myung Ha to join hands with the principal director. He can clearly sense that Myung Ha and Mong Wu are no longer on good terms and he fans that flame. He requests Myung Ha to give it a thought and let him know the following morning. The following morning, Hyung Bo tells the principal director that Myung Ha has agreed to join them, but the principal director demands proof and asks Hyung Bo to relay a message. Myung Ha meets the crown prince the next day. Mong Wu and the crown prince are playing a game of baduk, but Myung Ha is very cold towards Mong Wu. Principal director meets the crown prince and Myung Ha on their way. He greets the crown prince and is pleased to see Myung Ha. He then heads to the court where Li and asks him to confess. He clearly says he has committed no crime and will not confess to any false blame. He excuses himself from the court while Li in commands the chief royal secretary to prepare for an interrogation. J. E. Nam warns Li in against taking the step because it could lead to difficulty in abolishing the Border Defense Council. Li in says that he has saved a witness and evidence as a last resort. Shortly after we see that Senior Court Lady Dong is summoned by Senior Court Lady Han. But it is the principal director who meets her instead. He gives her a box containing poison and not so subtly asks her to save herself. He says that he will confess that Senior Court Lady Dong poisoned the late king and Li and would punish her severely. She is anything but heartbroken at the circumstances. Mong Wu finds her crying and offers her a handkerchief to wipe her tears. Senior Court Lady Dong is bitter towards Mong Wu. She says she will do what she can now and leaves. She applies the poisoned lip tint and visits Li in that night. In a short flashback, we see that Senior Court Lady Dong spied on the former king and the chief state counselor's discussion to send a spy to Ming and informed the same to the principal director. In the present, Li Yin asks her to attend the interrogation and confess her crimes the next day, and he would lighten her punishment. She remembers principal director's words from earlier and says she would follow Li Yin's commands. She asks him to grant her one final request and approaches to kiss him as the episode comes to a close. The Episode Review Well, well, well. Li Yin has finally rigorously begun to right the wrongs. It is quite interesting to see the principal director still scheme and plot to his benefit when his crimes are almost out in the open. He is so blinded by ambition and greed for power that his morals are completely askew. From the start, we knew senior court Lady Dong is going to be collateral damage in all this, and eventually that is what she beck. 